Did you know that alcohol is harmful for your pet? Yeah. What about donuts? Before we start this video, talk about my shoes. Look at these, they're crazy. I don't know why I bought them. I just really, I wanted them. This video is um, not one I really ever hoped I'd make, to be quite honest. I was always okay with making a video and teaching y'all guys about this stuff, but I had always hoped it wasn't because I was in that situation myself. But no, um, bad luck has hit me again. So let's back it up. Um, hedgehogs, this video is obviously about hedgehogs, if you can't read the title, which it's fine. If you can't read, I'm, I'm talking, so you don't have to read. Hedgehogs can get anything from minor colds, to mites, to brain cancer, arthritis, etc. They are susceptible to it all. Hedgehogs naturally have a very short lifespan. Typically it's like four years max, but sometimes they do live longer, sometimes they live shorter. Two to four years is normal, so very short life. So on top of that, they also have a lot of health issues that make it even harder for them to live their full life. So my hedgehog, Nala, who was my very first hedgehog, who was like, she was internet famous, my hedgehog. She had all, she was a cool kid. Um, she came down with cancer. When she was two and a half years old, she got cancer. It was in her kidneys. It was really, really sad. And I had to make the choice to basically, I had to euthanize her. Letting her live through that was just, it was, she wasn't there anymore. It was just her suffering. There wasn't any happiness in her or anything like that. She was in pain way more often than she was not in pain. It was like constant. She couldn't eat or drink. She couldn't walk. So I had to, Put her down at two and a half. When I finally was ready to get another hedgehog, I got a hedgehog from a local breeder who said, hey, she's already eight months old, but we heard about Nala's passing and we'd love for you to come look at our available little hedgehog. She's eight months old and um, we can't use her for breeding because her, um, there's a gnat in here, because um, her, like somewhere in her family tree and her lineage, Someone had wobbly hedgehog syndrome at one point, so they didn't want to breed her because they didn't want to breed those bad genes. Wobbly hedgehog syndrome is basically um, a disease that only hedgehogs can get, which is why it's called wobbly hedgehog syndrome, not wobbly syndrome. But it's very, very similar to a lot of other illnesses that are out there that humans and other animals can get. Basically, it's a slow progression of uh, paralyzed paralysis, yeah, paralysis. Basically, it's um, slowly more and more, it's not only, it's a neurology, I can't talk, neurological. It's a neurological disorder that slowly gets worse and worse and worse once it starts. The hedgehog slowly becomes paralyzed, can't move, can't function, can't eat, can't drink, and then dies. Some hedgehogs can live a long time with wobbly hedgehog syndrome because it just affects their mobility to the slightest. But others, it's a lot more severe. When it gets to as severe as it gets, like when it hits its max, you, sh you just have to put the hedgehog down. There's nothing you can do. You just either watch it die or put it out of its misery. Um, so, over the last few months, my hedgehog that I purchased, um, once I was ready, or adopted, or whatever, once I was ready to have a hedgehog again, over the last few months, her, na her name's Solara, and over the last few months, she has lost the ability to run. She can't run at all. I haven't seen her run on her wheel in about six months. Me being in denial decides she's just getting older, so she doesn't want to run as much. Then she stopped taking food out of my hand. She just could not, if I put food, she didn't know where to, she was just completely confused. Um, she ate less, she lost a ton of weight, and then it got to the point where she could barely walk. I'm gonna try to get through this video without crying because that's not my style here, but Keeping it real here, whatever happens, happens. She can move, I'm not saying that she's incapable of dragging her body around, but it's very wobbly. Um, she runs into things, she falls completely over, she flips onto her back sometimes. Like, she will slide completely and just fall. And I, you know, finally kind of got out of the denial phase and decided I needed to see a vet.
give me all. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now we, we're looking from the sides. Mm -hmm. See, that's it? Yeah. That's that fight again. It's, uh, it's out of the joint. It's not horrible, but we can see some roughness in the cartilage here. Mm -hmm. But I can't tell you 100% the way we presented sometime with the uh, quilt. Well, mm -hmm. uh, that's what's going on here. It's mad. Okay. Down. Yeah. It's not liking it. Ah, so now we see the vertebrae are way closer next to each other. Mm -hmm. That's like starting easy. Now okay. kidneys are so big. Yeah. Now both of them big. It's just like a cancer. Usually it's one, but it could be in both. And it's like kidney disease too. Okay. Um, I guess I was still kind of in denial because I was expecting the vet to just tell me she's old. You know, oh she's getting older. It's normal because she's two and a half, so same age as Nala. First thing he tells me is because I was mentioning that she doesn't take food out of my hand, she has a harder time getting around. First thing he figures out is that she's blind, so that's why she can't take food from my hand anymore. That's why if you put, um, if you quickly go at her face or like flick at her, no reaction. She does not get scared or startled. She just blank, blankly stares. That alone made me really sad because hedgehogs already have a hard enough time. They don't have good vision to begin with. So now to be completely blind, it's just, I can't imagine what that, probably scary, you know? You don't know any, like, they're, they have super sensitive hearing, every little noise they hear could startle them to death, like, not literally, but you know, it's probably really scary, or maybe I'm just putting my human emotions, you know, projecting that onto her, and maybe she's just fine. Maybe she doesn't care that she's blind. And then he decided, you know, I need to do x-rays on her and all that fun stuff. So he did x-rays. And he came back and he told me there's a lot of things wrong. First thing he said was, okay, she has arthritis. Her back is just, her spine is not looking good. Her joints are not looking good. Her bones are just, her bones are not in good shape. Next thing he said is, but that's not all. She also has wobbly hedgehog syndrome. She has the onset of that, which is why she keeps falling over when she walks, which is why she could barely get to her food bowl some days. That's, she has a, disease that is going to kill her. Next thing he said is that he found two masses in one in each kidney. This is exactly what happened to Nala. She had cancer in her kidneys. Now Solara has a ma masses in her kidneys, but we don't know that it's cancer, but there's masses in her kidneys and they are very large. Out of all these things that she has, not one thing is there medicine to cure? You know, like, all he can do is the doctor, or the vet, the vet, um, prescribed me, or Solara, pain meds. And they said, give this to her every night. He showed me how to dose it and everything. He said, give it to her every night, and hopefully that, that makes her more comfortable. And then he just said, basically, um, he gave me some formula. It's like this food mix that I can mix together and inject into her mouth if she stops completely eating, because it's gonna happen eventually, she's gonna stop eating. I took bed and all of her about two weeks before I decided to put her down, because it just got worse and worse. And I kept thinking, you know, she's gonna get through it, but she didn't. He basically told me, you, you know, you're gonna know when it's time. Look at this. Um. He said, you're gonna just, you're gonna know when, when she's ready to go. You know, if y'all guys aren't really, you don't get attached to animals other than like dogs and stuff, y'all are probably gonna think this girl's crying over like a freaking gerbil or something, but in a gerbil I would cry, if it was a gerbil I would, I would cry over it, but um, Solara was the first animal I got after Nala died, so it's, she was so sweet, she was so sweet from the beginning, Solara has always been so sweet. I want to raise attention to this, that, um, this is very, very, very common for hedgehogs. I know so many people, so many people who have had to put their hedgehogs down because of wobbly hedgehog syndrome at about this age. But even um, my cousin at one point had to put her hedgehog down after just having him for a few weeks because he had gotten it so young. This is not cheap. I spent about $1,000 when it was time to put Nala down on treatments and everything and then ultimately to put her to sleep. And so far for Solara, I've spent like 300. No animal is cheap. I've said this before, but I'm just gonna say it again. No matter how cute an animal is, or you know, oh, I just wanna hold it and own it. And, and you know, like hedgehogs are only like $100, $120. So yeah, you could save up the money and go buy the hedgehog, but are you ready for everything that's gonna come, you know? It could get sick, you could have to go through this in just, you know, two and a half years or less. And this is not at all to scare people away from getting them. I think they're wonderful animals and I love them, but I just want people to realize that it's not all just fun. There's some serious side effects 
to owning animals. And the main thing is they don't live anywhere near as long as you do, unless you get like a bird or a tortoise, but I read this somewhere and it's gonna sound so stupid, but although they are just a part of your life, like, you know, oh, I had that fish for a few months and that was a good fish. You were their whole life. Like, the things that you do for them is all they got to experience. The world you make for them is their life. That's really, you wanna give them that, the best life you can during that time. You don't want to um, deprive them of giving them the best they can have for the time they're here because you chose to take that animal in. You chose to make it yours, so now it's time for you to give them the best life you can. I'm kinda rambling now, but um, basically every night now I give Solara some Meloxicam. Um, she's not to the point yet where I want to separate her from Piper because they are very close. They sleep together every night. Piper sleeps right pressed against Solara and they just curl up and they sleep every night. I don't want to take Solara away from that and I don't want to take Piper away from that. They're both very attached to each other. Solara can still move around a little bit. The other night I saw her come out and get food. These are the moments I'm happy though. See, this is why I don't put her down. She still has life in her. She's drinking so much water. And a minute ago, I didn't really get it on film, but she was eating too. I'm amazed she even is doing this. I haven't seen her drink out of her own water bowl in so much, like it's been so long since I've seen her drink. That's why I've been having to make her have water because she normally won't drink. I've been having to put tubes of water down her throat. She can still move around, so I'm not gonna separate her and put her in her own cage yet. Closing comments on this sad emo video. A lot of people have already asked me why I haven't put her down yet. Because, you know, she can barely walk, she's blind, she has arthritis, and masses in her kidneys. I'm not gonna put her down until I don't see life in her anymore. I saw her come out and eat. I see her explore, or, or you know, try to explore when I take her out. She likes, you know, finding her way under my arm and sleeping there. I still see life in her eyes. I don't see a lifeless, suffering creature. But if it gets to that point, I know, you know, I'm not gonna make her just stay on this, stay here suffering. I'm gonna go get her out. So, Lara, see how she can still push her way through my hands? I'm not gonna put her down unless she loses all life in her. Like, she's not completely suffering right now. She has a lot of things she's struggling with, but she's still here, you know? Um, thank y'all guys so much for watching. Thank y'all guys all for subscribing and supporting me. I appreciate all of it so much. Like, you don't understand how much I love doing this stuff. It's a huge, huge passion of mine. Probably my biggest ever. Keep subscribing, and I'll see you next time, or you'll see me next time. Can you say bye, Solara?